what uh, what's all this wiring for? Right, well, all this wiring apparently is all for so our MHKs can be have access to the internet. Uh, they'll be secure when they're voting and things like that. It's what they call Cat Five. I don't know a great deal about it because I'm not really a, an electrician or that technically minded, you know. So I know there's a lot of discussion about electronic voting happening. Presumably, this wiring is. Um, going to be hidden and trunked all round to the various seats. Oh, yeah. the, you'll see better when we get up the timbal, into the timbal chamber, there's little blocks on the floor which will have uh, what they call power pillars on them and all, it'll all come up through there and it's all fed into the desk. There'll be microphones and they'll be at their laptop access and everything. Right, Robin Boyle. You, are you, you're the sort of chief architect? I'm the, the project architect. The project yes. architect. Uh, one thing I notice here, Robin, is that the Legislative Council area has been burrowed back into the, the far wall. What was the idea behind that? The idea was that the original LegCo dais was very cramped and the members had very little elbow room to sit in. And by deepening the area that they have, we could increase the, the curve on the dais, which obviously gives them a greater space for, uh, for getting in and out of their seats. Mm. The way this has been achieved has been to take out the back wall of the Tinwell Chamber uh, by putting in a goalpost frame of steelwork, taking out the stonework from within that and building an extra floor. On the top there I can see in the arches there's uh, plywood, what, what will that actually will, be there? That will ultimately be replaced with uh, pyran fire resistant glass so that people can see into the chamber from the viewing gallery, but it will also preserve the fire compartmentation necessary uh, for the building. Now what about the Hansard chamber up on the left as we're looking? Is that going to still be used by the Hansard club? No, that is now going to be mainly an equipment room. The Hansard clerks will be um, at the back there, over on the right, uh, where the chop saw is at the moment. Um, and there's, you'll see there's an alcove with racking for their recording equipment. Well, just looking the other way, Robin, um, I see a sort of wooden structure there on the right and on the left. What are they going to be? The one on the right is to be uh, a Manx Radio uh, soundproof booth uh, for broadcasting during debates. And to preserve the symmetry of the, uh, the chamber, we've decided to create something similar, but without the glazing on the left for the Lieutenant Governor. This provides, the, the pair of them provide the ad additional benefit of providing extra support for the balcony to the viewing gallery. So that viewing gallery is still going to be available to the it public? Is indeed, though, is it? Yes. Mm.